Hello financial fans, the end of another week. It's Friday and uh, the market has closed for a couple of days and I did not buy any stocks or, nor did I sell any stocks this uh, past week so I don't have any uh, information of buying and selling that I can report to you at this time but I can tell you that portfolio performance uh, beginning with SPY, the S&P 500, uh, year to date the S&P 500 is up 4.35 percent and uh, the QQQ, the NASDAQ uh, index is really going quite well for the people who happen to be invested in QQQ. So far this year, the year to date, the performance is up 10.37 percent for QQQ. And the uh, Dow Industrial Average, DIA, is not uh, doing real well, but it's still ahead. It's up 0.21% for the year, and uh, that is about the same as the expense uh, ratio for the uh, index fund, DIA. My performance so far this year, my portfolio is up 6 0.6% and this uh, past week was down a lot of days and uh, up I guess a day or two but with uh, that uh, all being said in case you're getting ready to tiptoe back into the market there are uh, some stocks to consider I'm not a financial advisor any money you put into the stock market you can lose buy low and sell high but uh, you make your own decisions. If the camera just moved, that was just me kicking it by accident. We're going to begin uh, the stocks to consider with Citigroup, the uh, symbol is C. I do own Citigroup in my portfolio. And the price per share, $50.18 was the closing price. Then it went uh, down three cents more to $50.15 per share after hours. And the column on the left, two-thirds of the way down, the 52-week range. The low for the past 52 weeks was $40.01 and one penny for uh, Citigroup. And the high was $62.89. So it's uh, kind of there in the middle. The average volume, 17,600,000 shares trade each day, and this stock is considered to be undervalued. The P.E. ratio for Citigroup, 7, 7.06, which is under the number 10, which is uh, the way I like stocks, 7 P.E. ratio is fine. The forward dividend and yield, the yield currently slightly over 4% in case you just hold on to the stock it'll give you some money that you can pay taxes on as a dividend and the one-year target for a city group is um, $58.27 so that would be a nice very nice move upwards if uh, that uh, should happen Next we look at another uh, stock that starts with the letter C, the symbol COP for ConocoPhillips. I've recommended this one before for people to consider. The closing price was $105.25. It was down 18 cents on the day or 0.17%. But look at the uh, after hours. It's up one penny, or it's up, uh, yeah, it's up one penny but it's still the same price. How that happened, I don't know. It's still $105.25. So that is the price. And we look at the 52-week range, the low for uh, ConocoPhillips for the past 52 weeks was $78.30, and the high was $138.49. Average volume, 6 million shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be undervalued. The P.E. ratio, third item down the middle column, 7.22, just the way I like it. And the forward dividend and yield, a small dividend, 2.23%. And the one-year target estimate, 
$136.72. That would be a big jump upwards, and certainly the uh, oil sector might do quite well this year. We never know about these things for sure, but we uh, anticipate what uh, current events tell us about the future. Next, we look at uh, a pharmaceutical, Pfizer. PFE is the symbol. Uh, $41.75 was the closing price, and uh, they also list that as the closing price after hours at the same price, $41.75. The 52-week range, $41.45 was the low, so it's very, very close to its low for the past 52 weeks, and the high was $56.32 per share. Average volume, 22,225,000 shares trade every day. And the stock is considered to be near fair value. The P.E. ratio, third item down the middle column, 7.6. Very good P.E. ratio. Forward dividend and yield. Almost 4% uh, for people who hold on to the stock and uh, just cash the dividend checks. The one-year target estimate for PFE, Pfizer, the one-year target, $52.52. Next, we look at Truist Financial Corporation, TFC, the last stock we'll look at today. $47.08 was the closing price on Friday. And it still is uh, at $47.08 per share. The 52-week range, $40 and one penny was the low, and $63.08 was the high. Average volume, a little over 7,100,000 shares trade every day, and this stock is considered to be near fair value. The P.E. ratio barely over 10, 10.63, and the earnings per share $4.43, which easily covers the dividend of $2.08. That yields a 4.42 percentage of uh, dividend payment, which uh, normally would be considered to be a good dividend return. And of course, with uh, inflation where it is right now, this 4.42 will at least help you to get near to where the value used to be. One-year target estimate for TFC is $52.45. And I thank you very much for watching.